There's a chest. What does it have inside? I must find out. Oh no. Hmm. Well, these are suspicious looking. Diamond is mine! <laughs> What's up guys, it is Gregor one here. And today we are going to be building... Well, not exactly like this. But pretty similar to this. We're going to be building a six digit combination lock. Not, not a button one with, with these levers. levers. And it is really simple. The, the only really materials you're going to need is... Well, because you don't really have to keep a chest in there, you can keep anything in there. The only materials you're going to have to need are redstone, a redstone torch, some levers. Obviously, you're only going to need about six levers. Um, an iron door, and just any building block. Okay, so we're going to build, just ignore that. Um, so we're going to build it over here. Basically, what you're going to want to do is make a wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's about three high. And about, for now, about six long. And then just place the levers on there. Okay. And then just place that block there. And then you're gonna wanna place Hmm, is that right? And then you're gonna want to take it along with two blocks. And then place an iron door. And then just fill up this. Then if you want you can just Add this more, add an extra bit on the end there. Okay, so behind this, you're gonna want to choose what, like, basically, you're gonna depend, depending on which combination you want, depends on where you place the redstone torches. So, say if you wanted the combination to be the the first one and the last one. You know this, and yeah, right. The first one and the last one. You place a redstone torch behind the first one, and a redstone torch behind the last one. Okay. And then you're gonna want to place just some blocks here. Then just fill this whole thing up with redstone dust. From the redstone dust. Leave a little trail here towards a block with a redstone torch behind it, and then with these being powered, with the when as the when the redstone dust is powered, they go towards this block and turn off this torch. So, for example, if now if I flip the first lever and the last lever, they will be turned off. And this redstone torch will be powered. So it's not really difficult. Okay, and then you're just go gonna want to take a trail of the redstone. Probably going, yeah, just this way. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't really have it done under there, just in case it was over there. Okay, and then just see this block here, the one with the doors above? You, um, take that trail going towards that block. Like that. Let's fill that up for now. Okay. Then, after that, you're just gonna wanna hide all of your redstone. even matter 
about how big this room is. Not a redstone in sight in here. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm not going to be hiding all the redstone because um, I'm trying to keep my tutorials, well, my videos a bit shorter. Um, so basically, six digit lock. Just for your brain, just for your um, memory bank here. Look, this is what it looks like. Trail going towards the door. And now let's open the door. So my combination was first lever and the last lever. Now it is open. And you can put anything you want in here. So, you know, you could just... It could even be the entrance to your house, if you wanted it to be. Well. This has been a six digit lock tutorial. Um, yeah, it's really important that you um, <laughs> remember your combinations afterwards as well. So otherwise you'd have to be... Um, breaking your door down and stuff it's not very nice okay so this has been the six digit com six digit combination lock tutorial this has been great grail one here if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe see you next time